वेलकम यू आर लिसनिंग रेडियो सेंट्रल न्यूज आई एम विक्रांत डोगरा एंड नाउ न्यूज इन डिटेल डेडली एक्सचेंज ऑफ फायर बिटवीन पैलेस्टीनियन मिलिटेंट इन दाजा स्ट्रिप एंड द इसराइली मिलिट्री हैज एक्सकलेटेड सिग्निफिकेंटली विद यू एन फेयरिंग ऑफ फुल स्केल वॉर More than 1,000 rockets have now been fired by Palestinian militants over 38 hours, Israel said, most at Tel Aviv. Israel has carried out hundreds of air strikes. India has lost 3 lakh 62,727 COVID-19 positive cases and 4,120 deaths in the last 24 hours. taking the cumulative total to 2 crore 37 lakh 2832 and 2 lakh 58317 respectively data revealed by the union ministry of health and family welfare reported The number of daily infection crossed daily recoveries in the country with 362,727 fresh cases being reported in the last 24 hours. The daily recovered cases stand at 352,181 according to the ministry. Meanwhile, the active cases have risen to 37,10,525. Maharashtra's infection count remained under 50,000 for the fourth consecutive day while kerala and tamil nadu recorded new highs of over 43000 and 30000 cases respectively with 18 lakh 94991 people being vaccinated against the virus over 24 hours the total number of vaccines having been administered has reached 17 crore 72 lakh 14256 leaders of 12 opposition parties including Four chief ministers have written to Prime Minister Narendra Modi asking the center to procure vaccines centrally from global and domestic sources and being a free universal mass vaccination campaign across the country. Former Maldives President Mohammad Nasheed has been flown to Germany for further medical treatment after last week's attempt to assassinate him. Mr Nasheed has been in intensive care after a bomb injured him outside his home in the capital Mail on 6 May. The Speaker of Parliament underwent 16 hours of surgery to remove shrapnel from his lungs, abdomen and liver. Police have arrested three men in connection with the attack, which they say is linked to Islamic extremism. Union Health Ministry on Thursday announced the increase the gap between the first and second dose of Serum Institute of India's COVID-19 vaccine Covishield from 6-8 to 12 to 16 weeks. The COVID working group chaired by Dr. N. K. Arora has recommended the extension of the gap between the first and second doses of the Covishield vaccine to 12 to 16 weeks. The present gap between the two doses of Covishield vaccine is 6 to 8 weeks. Four workers were killed and 10 others sustained injuries in an ammonia boiler explosion resulting in gas leak at Sipcote Industrial Estate in Kudalor district of Tamil Nadu on Thursday. Police sources said the deceased were three men and a woman. That is all for today's news bulletin. Stay tuned to Radio Central News for more updates.